Yo, what's up people? My name is Tanachi and I am back here in the world of Satisfactory. Alrighty, I hope you're keeping really well. Alrighty, so it's time to continue on this project and I've still got to do the obelisk on the right there with still and Kateri in production. So I'll get on with that. And I was having a little think about the second part of this project. As I mentioned, I'll probably go over there in the canyon somewhere. And I played around with the Mad Max Wastelanders kind of style. Trying to build like a little building and seeing what parts are available to try and get that style and effect. I don't think I can pull it off to be honest. So I'm not going to do that kind of Mad Max uh, cyberpunk wastelander uh, kind of build. So I was thinking, what else could I do? And after thinking about it for a little bit, I realized, of course, ancient alien civilizations. What would work well with that would be like an Area 51 uh, kind of a build and theme. So it's going to be quite high tech, I guess, and quite modern. Um, lots of cold hard still. And um, yeah, something like that anyway. And it's going to be either this area there or that area there. This one is more practical and those two ledges are really cool as well. Uh, the entrance is nice. And just behind there was also oil as well, which is I'm going to need a little bit of. Uh, so that might be more practical. But I do like all these little arches that are going over and looking up, you get all those, um, I'm not sure what they're meant to be, but whatever they are, they look pretty cool. Quite a few waterfalls here as well. But I did get quite a few waterfalls in the Eden project, so maybe I'll just go for this one. We've got a little like oasis green pond there as well. And it's a lot bigger than it looks as well, this area, especially up there on that ledge and down there as well. It's a big area. It's a little bit narrow on the entrance, but from down here, it'd be really cool to have these uh, over towering canyons on either side. As I said, I know it's a little bit like Eden project, but um, but it's going to look very different this time. All right, so let me get on with the last obelisk there. Yes, yes. All right, so I'm just going to quickly run through the obelisk obelisks as I don't want to spend too long on them and move on to the, the second part of this build and what I've done is added a little bit of like small scaffolding uh, around the various areas and on the inside um, like for example just put random uh, stuff to make it look a little bit more like a uh, well an excavation archaeology kind of site and now that I've finished the third one they've ended up having their own kind of like um, well it's kind of like each one's dedicated to its own ancient uh deity or god or whatever and this one is more like the well this is the nicest one out of the three the other two don't look as friendly uh, this one i guess could be the um the ancient god of uh of wealth or, or love or something like that because it's got a softer golden glow to it so um i know that face is not exactly the most um inviting or friendliest of faces but um yeah compared to the other two it's uh, the best out of the three anyway, it's weird that way. Alrighty, coming over here to this one that is doing the quartz and the limestone, so concrete and quartz stuff. Um, again, I put a little bit of a uh, scaffolding around. Not too much, I was thinking to go all the way around the edges, but I didn't end up doing that. Uh, but a little bit of detailing here and there, that to give it a bit of support, metal structures. And coming on inside, a random decorations. Uh, here and there like some scaffolding odd pieces lying around and another scaffolding here i guess uh, they would have built that to have a look at that very interesting uh, power source thingy majiggy that is uh whatever that is anyway who knows and i guess this one uh this one bloody is loud come on in come on man you can do it don't be shy that's it and this one i guess could be the the kind of like the ancient god of um uh, the unknown or mystery or of deceit or illusion Something like that anyway, because uh, it looks kind of creepy with those uh, purple... Anyway, whatever, I'm not sure. Let's go to the next one. Alrighty, coming over here to the third uh, obelisk. This one is doing the steel and Caterium stuff and a tiny bit of iron as well. I'm not going to use screws and rods and stuff like that, but I do need a few plates and the alternative recipe for plates is a bit of a pain in the ass to be honest. So I'm trying to get away with not making any iron ingots basically. And you can if you want to, using alternative recipes. You don't need screws and you don't need rods. Even though a couple of the screw recipes are not too bad, in terms of their efficiency on output uh, but you just need so many screws and uh, so i thought just forget iron altogether but um yeah i need, I need to do a few iron plates because uh, you need reinforced plates and like i said the alternative recipe for iron plates is a bit of a pain in the ass uh, but anyway we've got some scaffolding here and that's bringing in 720 of caterium iron and coal and uh, this one is definitely the god of war uh, the ancient deity of war um so i've got some more rougher looking uh, metal looking stuff a lot of them had these like feline kind of a uh, look so i was trying to go with like a feline um statue and that was meant to be the tongue coming out of it and um try to make it look a little bit like a cat i guess yeah and it's kind of well yeah it kind of got it ish it's pretty small inside here though so as i mentioned i didn't want to bring in the oars with trucks because uh they needed four trucks to keep up with that many oars and it's a little bit smaller in here, so I just kept it to um, bringing in all the, the belts by uh, 
or well, having a direct feed basically with conveyor belts instead of bringing them in by trucks. But of course, we'll still have one truck dropping off uh, coal for fuel, and the other one will be bringing out all of the uh, the resources um, to the well later on when we build the, the the second part of this project. And so coming on up, the similar as the other ones, but this time we've got a black and gold look for the um, steel and caterium. And um, yeah, it just keeps going up and this is the, the last floor. Yes, yes. So the size of the obelisk that I did managed to fit pretty well. We've pretty much come near to the top on this one and on the aluminium copper one as well. The quartz and limestone is quite small. I didn't need much of the obelisk, which is a good thing because that one was laying on its side. Um, but these ones managed to pretty much fill most of the obelisk. Kind of worked out pre-hand uh, which items I need and how many of each I need for this project. Uh, unlike the other one, the Eden project, I use old factories and there's a lot of wasted resources, like half of them just going straight into sinks. So it's not very efficient to be honest. But this project will be uh, very efficient as in I'm producing pretty much exactly what I need on, on these three obelisks. But yeah, this one is, um, yeah, definitely the God of War. Yeah, anyway. All right, so I've pretty much completed um, the three obelisk. I was kind of thinking to put maybe like a well, to emphasize more the archaeology aspect of this build, there was a good idea to put like a, maybe an archaeology site right in the middle, maybe with like with cranes and stuff like that. I think that looked pretty cool, but I do like also the fact that from a distance, um, it looks like a nice barren desert and you just get to see the three um, majestic grand um, obelisks there. So I think that is pretty cool as well. Alrighty, so moving on to this, I decided to go for that area there and I started working um, on the bridge so as i mentioned i'm going to go for this um kind of area 51 lots of cold hard still very modern futuristic obviously i've got no idea what area 51 looks like a bit of imagination and i'm sure we can try and achieve something that is um well i guess looks like modern and futuristic and uh, high tech and that kind of stuff lots of cold hard still but i was thinking this part here is a nice entrance with those two overhanging um rock face cliffs so i was thinking something like that if some of you might know petra in Jordan. It's kind of like an ancient structure that's built into the rock face and I think something like that there would look pretty cool. Quite narrow though saying that so I won't be able to do too much but it'll make a nice entrance. Got a nice road leading out really right in the middle and um, to the three obelisks that are there as well. In terms of practical location that'd be quite cool because the trucks coming from each one can go into this road and then heads right there and it goes straight all the way. Yeah, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. And it's a nice straight path right into the middle of this canyon. Yeah, I think that's gonna work nice. Yes, bloody yes, with extra bloody cheese. All right, so I'm gonna get on with this now and see what we can do. Get this kind of Area 51 uh, kind of look as well. Alrighty, to be continued. Alrighty, so many cups of tea later and uh, I've made some good progress now on uh, kind of like the installation, the um, very uh, military style, very high tech. Uh, Area 51 style. Uh, of course, I've got no idea what Area 51 looks like, of course, um, but just kind of like keeping with that high tech um, installation. So I've bought the space elevator here, as you can see, because uh, I think it looks kind of cool having these high, high tech uh, machinery uh, there on display. All very centralized, a little bit too centralized. As I mentioned, it's got a great central like uh, path leading right to the, the free obelisk, which is cool. All right, so as I mentioned, I tried to get that picture of Jordan um, building but obviously modernized and high-tech called it area 51 because I've got no idea what to call this at the moment I'll think of a name later, but um, I'm happy to take suggestions as well And of course I've taken the uh, uh, The turret that I did on the last build as well um, I've taken a few ideas from the last build and you know what why not uh, those are basically the reverse side of uh, The large billboards basically and they've got uh, the impression of like heavy-duty gates um, but of course they're just the uh, the reverse side as you can see and they've got a real cool uh, kind of like uh, well they make for like cool looking um heavy duty like shutters and gates you can pretty much do anything nowadays you can pretty much put anything anywhere like for example on these pillars you can really put your your wall pieces literally anywhere and you can do that for pretty much nearly every object in the game nowadays but anyway that's the outside and let's go inside this one to me really does have like a really strong like high-tech uh, military installation and yeah I've taken some ideas from Eden as well and I think it will look cool once the trucks are coming uh, backwards and forwards and I guess at the top there would be where the, your security guys would be like watching we've got a little walkway that kind of connects the the two upper sections all right moving on down a little bit we've got like this I guess it's a 
like a maintenance shop, like a repair and equipment kind of section. I've got some random um, kind of like a signage. I do like the way the, the, the signs reflect off the glass. It's pretty cool actually. Yeah, I like it, nice. And uh, actually even there off the painted floor, you can kind of see the, um, the reflection. What was that, there we go. Yeah, I like that. That's got a gloss effect on there. Anyway, um, so yeah, on this side we had a, um, a coal miner, which was really handy because I'm gonna need coal for the trucks later on. And it was in a really cool place, a lucky location. Uh, so we got like a coal deposit right there. And uh, so I put these, uh, a well, the little section like dedicated to like a fuel and coal. These signs are really cool actually. Uh, that's basically just a, a a coal in the on the large billboard. Kind of looks like a real photograph of um, of pictures of coal. Anyway, that's what that is. You can kind of go around the back here, and uh, you've got like a pretend computer which will give you the impression that you're doing something when obviously it doesn't do anything and uh, that's what that is the power switch for the coal is up there uh, up on this section i haven't done too much decorations up here yet uh, it just gives you some visibility of belts uh, that are going to some of the machines i haven't really done many machines either yet and this section is pretty undone yet uh, just some switches for lights and this takes us to the well where that bridge and walkway was I got another security camera thingy majiggy there and another one of these uh paths leading up to this side of the uh top section well actually no we'll, uh yeah no go to that after actually yeah go to that after actually let's go to the uh, outside now all right so coming on to the outside and uh, it was a really cool location to build actually i didn't use as much metal as i thought i thought it was gonna be like really heavy metal and industrial kind of look um, but instead i've used a lot of concrete and uh, a lot of uh, asphalt as well as you can see and we've got that this central area where of course we've got the um the space elevator and uh, some observation uh, kind of thing just like observation tower with lots of scaffolding like pretending to lead you to um, well it, it doesn't pretend it does actually lead you to uh, different sections of the of the canyon down here we've got a truck station for three of the trucks three truck stations one for each obelisk and uh, the trucks will be coming uh, down that path below we've got the space elevator and that leads to the area underneath the the tunnel i don't know did i go there i can't remember i don't think i did did i as i said a lot of concrete here as well um i tried to not use too much concrete because i used a lot in the other last build and but anyway i managed to put two of these um uh, drone ports as well which i'll be using and of course the the um what's it called again the particle accelerator but this part turned out pretty cool i'm liking uh, this central area and uh, surrounded by the kind of like the canyon on the left and right. Um, it's got a real like um, high tech kind of like a uh, uh, installation, a secretive and um, what I would imagine some high tech installation would be like anyway, I've got no idea of course. Anyway, so the plan is what I'm gonna do is underneath the road here, uh, underneath the whole circle and underneath the floor, underneath the, um, where these, um, uh, truck stations are, as you can see I've got glass uh, underneath is completely hollow so I've, I've got space what I'm gonna do is have the belts coming from what well, from the truck station as they drop them off and then I'm in two minds I want to build up here actually because it's a large open space and uh, so there's a lot of space to do something quite big there and I won't need that much so the production is not that big and I'm gonna need some oil as well so as you can see um, I've bought the the road coming along here as well and there's some oil deposits just over just over there it's not too far so i can either as you can see that the the they're hollow inside and where i'll bring all the belts i can either do all the machinery here where the oil is or try and get everything up to this huge area at the top there because uh, i don't want to be building like some machines up there on that ledge some machines there like eden and some machines there and some machines over there and logistically it's just a real pain in the backside and I don't want to do that again uh, did that in Eden so I want to get all the production in one area so either up there because it's a uh, nice and huge or either at the end of that road the problem is that to get the stuff up here um, I'm not sure how to get the stuff up here without doing some big kind of ice sort of a structure to get because I'm gonna need seven or eight belts going up and down and um, I guess somewhere here well, it might be better just to build the, the factory over there, I guess, and do it all together with the plastic and rubber production. Anyway, I'll have a little think about that later. But yeah, anyway, so that's what this um, 
area is looking like for now. This central area is actually kind of cool. I'm quite liking this uh, this central area where the um, space elevator is and the truck stations are. And like I said, we've got some cool like little areas on the side to make it look like a well, like a real immersive kind of build where there's stuff happening on every area. And here you've got like a central observation area for the the space elevator, which goes on up as well and to the second floor and then up into the upper canyons which will lead us on this very dodgy very unsafe looking uh, uh stairs which will lead you up here and i suppose if some people wanted to go up to the various parts of the canyon well on this side we've got access uh here at the truck station where i've got some light control panels for different lights of the of the build and you can come up here so this is where the the path that leads up to the top part there Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, that one actually that one actually makes sense. And actually, why I like using this black asphalt as a road, uh, because for the Z fighting and the flickering, um, this black asphalt is brilliant. You just you don't notice it. It's there. It's happening, but you just don't notice it. And if you're doing circles, and you're doing stuff like this, where you've got like areas where you've got um, like uh, the foundations overlapping each other, black asphalt is brilliant. Uh, you just don't notice the the Z fighting at all. I mean, you can just use Micro Manager and lower it the tiniest scale one down and does the same thing but if you can't bother just use black asphalt all right so let's go on to the um i'm not sure if i showed the uh, bottom part here so let's go into here as well where the um the lower side is and this leads to the um which i did do this didn't i yeah that's where the miner is and here's where we've got some coal for i'm making copper powder and some sulfur for the batteries later and this leads at the very the very discreet very small passage it leads at the back of the uh, equipment um well whatever that is i'm not sure all right so let's go to the top section and this is pretty much the the last area that i've done got a security camera and some signage and uh, this leads up to the well the only area that i've kind of done some machines particle accelerators and this leads up to here and um actually let's go up to here first so this leads all the way up to the where the um the particle accelerator is and um, I kind of left it very simple at the front there. I think actually I'll just leave that simple. It doesn't need to, doesn't need to be fancy there. Yeah, that's fine actually. Just leave that like that. And we've got the, um, the two drone ports at the top there as well. So this is like the main control area. So this uh, manufacturer will be doing batteries uh, for the drone ports, which is right above us up there. And those 10 uh, smelters overclocked to 200% are doing copper ingots for the constructors to produce 100 copper powder per minute for the, uh, the uh, particle accelerator. So here we have basically our central control area with a nice uh, overlooking uh, windows to the, the middle part and the section here we've got a sign again for area 51 i might change that name i'm not sure but for now we'll just keep it as that on this side uh, so i've got a control area like i've done this on all of my configurable factories because later on what i'm thinking is um i want to have all the configurable factories send all of their output on the drones to one huge project that i would like to do possibly once maybe it goes to full 1.0 release and we'll have like tier 9 and 10 items to produce so i'll have all of the output from all my configurable factories kind of heading to one final last area and i can do that by these um this little setup that i've done on all my configurable factories so from this one programmable splitter all of the output of all the machines if i do them up there on that ledge where i said they'll come under the floor and they'll come at the bottom below us and they'll come onto that conveyor belt here and they'll go to this programmable splitter where I can decide either to send some items or all the items either to the drum port or either to the sink or either to a, like a temporary storage. Yeah so I found that kind of setup quite useful actually and I've done that like on all my factories so it kind of gives you a bit of versatility. Anything we decide goes to the center output it will come out onto this sink there and obviously the, the storage will go right there of course and the, the drones which as you saw are right above us uh, up those stairs. Alrighty, so that's basically the, um, well yeah, that's basically the whole build. So now what I really have to do is, uh, actually let me go this way. And uh, so now basically what I have to do is, uh, the hard part, <laughs> the hard part basically, belt work underneath the floor here from the trucks, which will drop off uh, the truck stations there. And as I mentioned, underneath the floor here, uh, we kind of got like a hollow floor, as you can see, which leads us to, um, 
to every section. So now I've just got to decide basically whether to do the production kind of up there. Uh, like I said, it's a huge area. At least I have plenty of space. Just the issue I have with that is getting the belts. I guess I could do like a scaffolding like these, like but on a much larger scale. Somewhere at this point, coming up to there, make it look a little bit um, industrial. I'm not sure. Or like I said, the other alternative is just to keep the stuff going along the floor here, uh, right to the end of the road here. And we can do everything at some kind of like building at this point. And then we have the oil there as well, just literally just over here. Actually, I know they did say they're going to make some changes to this part of the map, didn't they? But I'm hoping they're not going to make any changes to this part of the map because they did actually change that part there with those two rock faces, the ledges where the particle accelerator is. That's new. And they've made small changes to this little bit here. So I'm hoping that this part will be permanent and they won't be changing anything on this side. Uh, but they did say they're going to make changes to this area. So maybe that's not a good idea to build anything here. Well, I could just build it like at this little area here. What's the chances that they'll change this bit? Who knows, who knows? I'm not sure yet to be honest, I got no idea. I'll have a little think about that. Alrighty, anyway, so, um, uh, the free obelisk area 51 build. Uh, made some good progress. And um, yeah, interesting. Interesting little build. It reminds me of that game actually. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. There was this game that I played and uh, we had like this level that like, was set in this kind of setting, like in a canyon and uh, with different levels. It was really high tech. Um, what was it called again? I've got a memory like a fish. I've got no idea how to do anything. You know that? Alrighty, guys. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. And uh, maybe I'll catch you again soon.